Hello everyone, my name is Zeno, aka Zeno Cherry, and uh today I'm gonna show you how to record how to record um gameplay. It's pretty easy. You need uh DX Story, you can use Fraps also, but I use DX Story. Um because DX Story is way um more complex, let's say like that. It's not easier to use than Fraps, indeed it is. Indeed it's not actually. <laughs> but um it's way better because you get better you know better better results after the recording so yeah first thing you want to do is start uh, the X story and then um, here what you're gonna do the first window the uh, target window you I, I don't change nothing in here because um, it's I don't really know what it does to be honest but over here you can use whatever you want hack slash mine it's a uh, Minecraft mod then Minecraft tech launcher it's you know Yuxbox and all that crap I'm just gonna use Minecraft and then you're gonna go to the uh, overlay tab you can use these settings you know this is not that much that that very important you know the display position of status is set blah 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 you can you can set it however you want so yeah the, fir the third tab we're gonna go is folder then folder what you're gonna do I'm just gonna delete this just as just test I'm just gonna delete this and I'm gonna add folder click on add folder and then um, just browse wherever you want to uh, put your recording. I'm just going to put an hack slash mine because it's the let's play I'm going to start soon. Then what you want to do, if you want, of course, if you want to be sure you can record in HD, you just t uh, click on benchmark. Then just run. Uh, this will probably test, well, I don't know if that's normal, be why it's so low, but normally it's not that low. <coughs> normally I have like 88 like it was before but anyways that's that's depending on how your PC is overlaying and all that shit so yeah um, 74 megabytes that's decent you know if you want to record in 1080p which I can't to be honest because um, I only have one hard drive you can you can record with one hard drive actually but you need at least a hundred megabytes per second which I don't have uh, because if I record in t 1080p It'll probably lag like hell, and I w will not be able to record at all. But if you want to record in 720p, which is uh, normal, you can record uh, with 50 megabits per second. I have 74, which is um, normal, which is pretty good actually. 74 megabytes is like the uh, default one. It's a normal one. It's good. It's not bad, and you can record in 720p. You don't really need 1080p since um, YouTube 720p and 1080p is not that much of a drift dif uh, difference. There's a little, a little bit, a uh, little bit of difference. I can't talk for shit right now. Anyways, there's a little difference, but not that, not that much. All right. Um, now, if you want to pause it to put my settings, go ahead. I'm just gonna go to the next tab. It's uh, hotkey settings. I use uh, the def, not not real default uh, settings. I just use F9 to start and stop the movie ca capture. Then F10 to uh, um, take a screenshot. All right. Uh, then I'm just gonna go to the next tab. Okay, movie. This tab is pretty important. This tab is probably the most important tab of all, of all of them. Well, the second one's important. Now, what you're gonna do here, what I do actually, is use the video codec. I use uh, DX Story video codec. It's pretty neat. It's uh, probably the only one. <laughs> it's actually the only one I ever tested. So, I don't know how the other ones do, but I use DX Story video codec since it's easy to use. Since it's the best to use, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure actually. Anyways. Uh, this I'll let it how it is. I don't really know what it does actually. Then the clipping I also I don't touch it. I just leave it how it is too. Now the next thing, frame rate. I go to 30 frame rates per second since it's the uh, default YouTube frame rate. If you're gonna upload on YouTube, I'll I recommend 30 because if you're gonna record a 60 or 120, it's probably I'd probably recommend it for like I don't know like um let's say um. Mon mon yeah, montage and stuff like that. You know, like frag movies and all that and all that stuff, which I don't do. I just record gameplay and tutorials. Um, I do 30 frames per seconds, which is decent. It's good. It's actually pretty good. Uh, 29.97 is actually I have no idea what it's 29.97. The uh, minimum I think you could do is 25 for YouTube for it to be fluid and smooth. The maximum is, of course, the maximum of your capacity. I uh, think movies uh, have a frame rate of 27. I'm not sure. Anyways, I, I use 30. Then output, file output, direct show output, output file output, and format AVI, which is the uh, normal one. Raw cap is like raw format, like Fraps does. Fraps does raw cap. 
well, raw format, of course, which is AVI also, but it's raw. Right, anyways, uh, next option is include mouse cursor. You can do that. Spring Connect video, video FPS. I recommend it to let it off, actually, because if you make it on, if you put it on, you will record at 30 FPS, but you will also play at 30 FPS, which I mean, if you have it off, you will play at whatever frame rate you actually play without recording which is um, let's say 120 I play with 120 frame rates but when I record with fraps it goes down directly to 30 FPS whatever whatever um, uh, whatever uh, frame rate I use oh my god I can't even talk right uh, whatever frame rate I use and um, if you use synchronized video FPS it will do like fraps but if you t take it off you will play at whatever FPS you actually have without recording but you will record at 30 FPS which means that the uh, output will be at 30 FPS but you will have been playing all the time at whatever frame rate you had maybe sound weird because I don't know how to explain it because I'm a dumb dumb <laughs> but um, it is pretty neat uh, so this feature is actually pretty good I recommend it to take it off if you want to record montages or I don't know what to spell it, montages, montages, anyways, if you want to record like frag movies and stuff like that, I recommend it to have it on, if you want to record gameplay, commentaries and stuff like that, I recommend to have it off. Alright, next thing is going to be percent and size scaling, um, I recommend to have it on size, on whatever size you want, I have on 720p, which is uh, the default one, I guess, to record in HD, which is perfect, actually, you don't need 1080p, you can do 1080p, but uh, Reminder that you have to have over 100 megabytes per, sec per seconds or at least 100 megabytes per second because if you don't, you will lag like hell and you won't be able to play. Now, I have it on 1280 uh, 1280 to 720p, uh, which is um, neat, which is good. All right, and I'm gonna go to the next tab. Feel free to pause it to copy my settings. All right, next tab will be audio. I use um, two audio stream num numbers whatever outputs devices the first device is my uh, PC sound it's the uh, I have it on French since I'm French I live in France um, I'm not Engli English as you may also have heard um, I use it um, at the default uh, ha headset I have high definition audio which is my computer audio then the second one to put one more you, you press bleh press on the add audio stream to uh, delete one you press on the minus one I'm just gonna test it look like three I just press delete and I delete it alright then uh, the second one I use my microphone Plantronics audio 646 uh, DSP now the volume I just leave it how it is I'll leave it default if you want to know how it sounds just do a test recording and just mess with it I don't know I just I just let the default how it is um, so it doesn't fuck up and anything like that. That was a bad word. Anyways, <laughs> now the the audio codec. I'll leave it as it is default. No, actually default. It's four thousand eight hundred uh, HC, which is hertz. I think I don't know, but I have put it in forty four, uh, forty, uh, yeah, forty four thousand one hundred hertz, sixteen bit stereo, which is neat. The second one, I'll leave it how it is. Um, I don't know how you do it. I'll leave it how it is. This, uh, but the first one, uh, I did put it like like this. So this actually improves the quality and uh, stuff like that. So yeah, stereo is with both. Um, if you're using a headset, I recommend stereo. If you're using um, headphones, I recommend mono. Or if you're using a uh, um, a um, like no, that's actually no wrong. If you're using like uh, let's say it's a, a, a audio set like with boxes and stuff like that I recommend mono exactly that's what I meant <laughs> if you use a headset I recommend stereo oh my god I just got anyways this one is screenshot, screen, screenshot tab I leave it how it is I don't really take screenshots but if you wanna take screenshots I recommend you put it on PNG since it's the best quality and the, uh, the uh, file won't be that big um, all right, let's go to the next tab, advanced. Um, this, I usually leave it how it is, but not the processing threads. Processing threads, the number of cores you have. I have eight cores, I actually have six, but it shows me eight threads, I don't know why. Um, to check out how many cores you have, you go to s Windows Task Manager, then you go to Performance, and there you go. CPU usage, that's the number of cores you have. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I actually have six, but it shows me eight. I don't know why. I actually have six cores, but it shows me eight. You know, that's just how it is. And this is the memory. Like, I'm using 1.77 gigabytes from 12. I have 12 memory, 12 gig gigabytes RAM. Anyways, um, moving on. Um, yeah, no, like I said, um, the options here in the uh, advanced app, I'd put it in two threads since um, it gets, I don't know why, but you just record better without lag and stuff like that since um, the output is going to be um, bigger depending on how many threads you use and stuff like that. Alright, um, next one is going to be global. Ah, pff, I don't I don't change nothing from this. Then there is the, um, the uh, information like your license and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is basically it, I guess. Um, you can you, you can now change however you want it. This is how I use it. I record in uh, in uh, 720p, which is you know it ju it is good enough. It is good enough. Believe me on that one. Um, all right, I guess that's it. Now I'm gonna do a uh, test recording. So stay tuned. All right, so we're back in Minecraft right now, and um, let's do this recording. So right now, actually, I don't. You cannot see it, but right here, it says I have 135 normal frame rates, and I'm recording at 30 frame rates, which is pretty neat. That's what I meant with the uh, recording and stuff like that. So here we are in Minecraft. Um, you may see down here, um, it's not fully big. That's because I'm playing on full screen, I'm not playing on 720p, I'm playing at 1080, which uh, the screen won't be, um, like, huge, but, you know, there's only little parts that will go away, so it's, it is, it is okay, you know, I, I'm just testing this right now, it's just a, a little test to show you that DxO records flawless, like, this is record flawless recording right now, I'm recording at, uh, no, I'm playing at 770 frame rates, but recording at 30, which is neat, you know, the, f the um, recording frame rate does not move an inch, like, it's just 30 FPS, and it's frozen at 30 FPS, which I think it is magnificent, it's amazing, and, the, uh, you're gonna die, Piggy, you're gonna die, alright, um, so, yeah, this is basically, when is, when is it gonna die, like, seriously? <laughs> So yeah, this is basically it. Um, uh, yeah, the outputs depend depending on how how long you record it, like five minutes. I'd would say it's four gigs. It is a little big, but it's better than Fraps a million times better. Since Fraps um, lags, it, it it like for people who have bad PCs. I don't have a bad PC, but you know, for people who have bad PCs. Fraps is not recommended. I recommend DX Story even for good PCs. I recommend DX Story more for every person. Hello, peeps. For everyone, whatever PC you're on, even if you're on a laptop, DX Story will run smooth as hell. I can't run anymore since I'm starving. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, please make sure to leave a like and uh, let me know what you think about this. Um, this, by the way, this is uh, one of my new channels. Um, I'm gonna be recording walkthroughs, let's plays, and stuff like that, and hopefully I can grow a community and have fun with other players, and yeah. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. That's a big-ass mine. Big-ass drop. And you know what? I'm just gonna jump and I'm gonna die. <laughs> this was a test anyways. So yeah, thanks for watching, and have a good day, and yeah, bye.